everyone. Wah, 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 wah. I am an indigenous woman from West Papua. A lot of you may have read about West Papua in, 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 in books or in, um, on social media or in research papers, but I'm here today to humanize the experience of people of West Papua. And I want to humanize that first in song form. So I'm gonna come down here. If you've got a, a table or a bench or something you can hit, even your hands, let's all join together in, in, in singing this ancestral song. Dio Papua Neno, Dio Kini Neno, Dio Kini Gine Neno, Dio Kino Papua Ho, Dio Kuke Yoma, Dio Kuke Yoma, Dio Kino Papua Ho, Dio Wa, 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 wa. I want to start off by teaching you the most important words that remains on the hearts and the minds and the souls of my people back home in West Papua. And that word is merdeka. Merdeka means freedom. And I know there are people in this room who are bilingual. So if you have a word equivalent of merdeka in your language, please share with me today. Anyone? What language is that? Kurdish. Kurdish. Arabic. Arabic. Any other, any other words? In what language? Amazing, amazing. Yes, yes. So freedom, that is the word that is uniting everyone else in this room here today. We all desire freedom in all forms. Freedom in terms of equality, freedom to live, to roam, to, to pursue, to express ourselves, to be indigenous people, to be the sovereign leaders of our land. West Papua is the western half of the island New Guinea. New Guinea is an island that lies 250 kilometers north of Australia. We have um, gold, we have timber, we have copper, we have gas. Every single resource you can think of, we have it on our island, on the island of New Guinea. New Guinea is home to birds of paradise, a bit like the bird on my head. And you probably watch these um, David Attenborough documentaries. He loves to talk about these birds. West Papua is home to tree kangaroos. It's home to biodiversity beyond your wildest imagination. West Papua is home to the third world's largest rainforest. That is crucial information when we talk about climate justice. Who are the voices that we ignore? We forget to hand the microphone to. It's the indigenous people who protect our land, who protect our rivers, who protect our mountains, who protect our, our, our forests. Since the early 1960s, 1961, the people of West Papua, we were promised our independence. Our previous colonial rulers were the Dutch. But two years later, the Indonesian military illegally invaded our land. And ever since that date, 500,000 innocent indigenous West Papuan people have been slaughtered by the Indonesian military and security forces. West Papua is paradise, but it's also home to a secret genocide. So the two, two um, uh, juxtapositions there, you've got a genocide in paradise. Under Indonesian colonial rule, our people are experiencing ethnic cleansing through bombs, through chemical weapons. Recently there was a documentary, you can watch it on YouTube, and it exposed the truth that Indonesia, in the, in the Indonesian security forces are using chemical bombs to, to, to wipe out whole villages. Right now, there are about 60,000 to 100,000 West Papuans who are internally displaced in the Highland regions. Police brutality, political prisoners, torturing, the use of rape as a military uh, weapon against women and children. These things, they don't get talked about. Human rights journalists are banned. International Peace Brigade, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, even um, humanitarian aid is banned from entering this region. So I was born in a beautiful surf town called Vanimo in Papua New Guinea, but it's not idyllic because just around the corner is a refugee camp that I spent my early months. My family were able to, to escape political persecution. There are about 12,000 West Papuan refugees living in PNG right now. In the early 2000s, my family and I came as uh, asylum seekers and the British government opened up their arms. 
comes to us and we were accepted into this land. But I use this freedom to talk about my people's liberation, to talk about my people's fight for independence. This flag is the reason why my father, who's sitting over there, um, in the early 2000s was put into prison under colonial regimes. Even simple things like the right to self-expression is completely banned and unlawful. For this flag, if you raise this flag, the West Papua Morning Star flag, you can get sentenced up to 50 years imprisonment. My father fortunately was able to escape and flee to the UK. But for many West Papuans, even our mothers who make these bags and sell them on the streets, they get intimidated, they get followed, they get abused, harassed. But it's this symbol that gives my people, the people of West Papua, hope. It gives us the audacity to dream of a better world for our children. West Papuan children, when they graduate schools, they paint their uniform with the Morning Star flag. Our mothers continue to make these bags. Our people continue to chant out our freedom songs, continue to, to rally, to mobilize, to go on the streets, to protest. Because we believe one day our people will be free. The history books, when you study it, no empire lasts forever. It never lasts forever. And I believe the history books to come. You guys who study history in your classes, you will read about West Papua and the liberation that one day became a success, became a reality. When you go home, Google the West Papuan genocide. Remember that it's Merdeka, freedom that my people desire. Wah, 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 wah. Thank you for listening.